So we're back again. It's a nice 911. This was in uh, 2016. Uh, when I first heard about it, I wanted to go see it straight away. It was uh, stored in a workshop for two years, covered in dust. Uh, really excited to get on with it. Uh, the interior again, that was also covered in dust. The seats they got pulled out, uh, shampoo all them down as well, clean all the glass, the roof lining, we left the roof lining alone, uh, didn't want to disturb any of the glue under there. Got plenty of dust on it. I love the time this. I do actually work on another one, a black one. Uh, this one's 1984. One of my favourite details, this thick dust, it really was bad. Rumour had it, it was just stored in the workshop and used as a tool bench, really, just to place tools on. But all on that grid, the back window, again, it was terrible. All the trims, uh, they needed restoring again. The back lights, they was all cleaned and polished. So what the car's doing now, possibility probably put back in the same corner. Who knows? But yeah, get a wash down, get her in the job. So washed off camera, get in the job now. Get dried up, get some torches on it. what she looks like. Right, for now, there's lots of problems. There was sanding marks, swirls, scratches, hazes, uh, yeah, you name it, it was on there. Back then, the cameras really weren't the greatest, and even was my torch, really, to be honest with you. But it was good enough to show me what I needed to see. There's your sanding marks even worse there. Zoom in a bit, should be able to see, get focused. There we go. See them now, real tight, big, well, I say pigtails, they're just actually sanding marks. But we'll get all them polished out. Some cork and scratches there. We'll the polish them out on the big foot, big foot 15. I'm gonna try 105 first, see how she gets on. I'll do that side, leave that side alone. Just for a little play, give me an idea on how soft it is. So it's a quick test area, nothing special. Obviously that's the side I ain't done. Get over to the side I have done. A lot clearer. So yeah, now we know really what's gonna work with this car, it's just a case of repeating it on every inch of the car really. We was expect it to be single stage, but it was actually a clear coat base coat. Uh, I was getting no paint transfer whatsoever. Some cork was there. But yep, yeah, lovely reflection. Get all the car done now, get the interior out of the way. And I'll see you on the other side. Well, that's the interior done. I'm doing the best I can with it. Uh, got all dust out, got it all wiped down, all the fabrics shampooed, striped up, looking great. Back again, took all the seats out, shampooed them down, shampooed the fabrics, striped them all up quickly, uh, clean the seat belts. I actually put G Technique L1 on the leather. Uh, the dash, again, it was just wiped down. Uh, and again, it was wiped down with an APC. Cleaned up and conditioned with uh, G Technique. The clocks, again, which was polished up. Nothing special. The roof lining, like I was talking about, we just wiped it down. Uh, didn't really want to put too much steam on there in case it, again, affected the glue, things like that. But yeah, looking great.
engine. Now that was one thing to get into, it was so tight. Uh, but yeah, cleaned all the craps out, got all the grease off, finished result.